Hello, Beatia, and welcome back to Getting to Know Fabrics Season 1. Today, we're going to be looking at polyester. Polyester is a man-made material and it was first made in the 1950s. It is a petroleum-based synthetic fiber. Simply put, polyester fabric is made by using polyester pellets. These pellets, basically looking like little plastic beads, because that is actually what they are, get melted down into a liquid form and get pushed through a device that almost looks like a shower head with small little holes at the bottom and they form small little strings. These strings are then woven together into a yarn that we know as a fiber and these fibers they make up what we know as polyester fabric. Polyester is very durable. The wear and tear on it is really good. It wrinkles less and it is strain resistant. Polyester pellets are made from a type of oil. Polyester is also very easily blended with other fabrics. One of the advantages of polyester is that it washes and dries very easily. That is also why it's known as a wash and wear type of fabric. Other characteristics of the fabric is that it retains oil very easily. So in other words, when you're cooking, don't wear polyester. And if you're buying an apron, make sure that it's not polyester because if you are washing it, you won't be able to remove the oil that easily. Also, polyester is known to make people sweat. This top, for instance, um, I bought and thought, okay, it's polyester, but it doesn't have sleeves, so it's going to be fine. I won't feel that hot because I was actually taught by my mom to always buy natural fibers, but I really like the color and the style of the top. Therefore, I bought the top with the hope that I won't feel hot or sweaty in it, but unfortunately, I do. Every single time I wear it, whether I wear it in an office with lots of air conditioning, um, on a cool autumn day or on a normal summer's day, which will obviously be the worst. I don't consider myself to be a very um, sweat prone person, but whenever I take the top off in the evening, I definitely feel um, on the less fresh side of things. Although the series is focusing on fibers and fabrics that one would wear, I do want to mention bed sheets as well when talking about polyester. Lots of people complain that they often have loads of bed sweat and they feel very, very hot in their bed and they can't sleep easily. That could be that you actually have a poly cotton blend as your sheets. This is something you can easily change and you can opt in rather for buying a 100% cotton bed sheet. You'll sleep much more comfortably and you won't feel as hot. Over the years, polyester has been improved and the polyester we have today is definitely of a higher quality than what we started off with. The new polyesters is supposed to be more breathable, windproof and waterproof. Unfortunately, polyester also contributes to the microplastic issue we have in our oceans today. As mentioned, polyester is made from plastic. And every single time you wash any garment, micro pieces of that fiber will break off and go into the water system. If it is something that's natural, it obviously won't impact our environment. But when it is something synthetic, such as polyester, these micro pieces of plastic get into our water supply and is not absorbed or dissolved. These pieces of plastic can end up in our marine life and on our plate again when we eat the fish. It can also end up in our drinking water and so on and so forth. There is links down below if you want more information on the microplastic issue. Let's have a quick look at what different types of polyesters can look like. So first of all, I mentioned that this is polyester. I'll bring the camera up close so you can see what it looks like. It's quite a smooth fabric and it's got a bit of a silky sheen finish to it. Lots of camisoles are often also made out of polyester and I would definitely again avoid buying this because I'm talking out of experience. This is definitely not as comfortable as wearing a different um, camisole made out of a different fabric. 
even without shoulders and without anything on my decolletage, this top still makes me feel so hot and uncomfortable. But let's look at what the fiber looks like. You can see it's very similar to the top I'm wearing today, but it definitely stretches much, much more than the top I'm wearing today. This raincoat I bought when I was in Amsterdam and it's made out of 100% polyester on the outside as well as the inside. But I'll show you exactly the inside looks very different and the fabric is also of a different color, different weave and different texture. But still it is made out of 100% polyester. I'm going to bring it up close so you can see properly what I'm talking about. All of this is polyester. And then on the outside, we have a completely like solid um, waterproof substance and this is also 100% polyester. Although this does keep rain out quite well, it makes you feel extremely hot because you can't breathe inside of it. It almost feels like wearing a plastic bag and I'm a bit bummed that I wasted my money on buying something like this. This is something I'll only, only wear when it's raining. I definitely won't wear this as a comfortable outer layer to a winter or autumn outfit. There are some companies and brands making polyester fabric out of recycled water bottles. This is something you can definitely do as the bottles can be melted down into these pellets we've spoken about earlier and it goes through a similar but different process. Even though this is a great way of creating something out of waste, I do not prefer wearing polyester as I've mentioned. I'd rather recycle the water bottles into something else. In summary, let's look at some of the general pros. Polyester is what the industry calls a wash and wear item. In other words, it doesn't wrinkle a lot and you don't have to iron it. It is a very durable fabric and it dries quickly. The color does not fade e easily and it is machine washable. It retains its shape, meaning it doesn't usually stretch out all that much and it is quite an inexpensive fabric and then in other words, makes inexpensive clothes. Cons. It doesn't breathe, which causes sweat. The cleaning difficulty and yellow armpits are linked. Let me explain. If you remember high school chemistry, you'll know that oil mixes well with oil, but it doesn't mix with water. And if you sweat, the oils on your skin mixes in with the fabric, which comes from an oil. Therefore, it keeps the oil locked into the fabric, which causes the yellow armpits. In comparison to when you are sweating, but you are wearing a natural fiber. So therefore, the fiber does not accept the oil, but in the case of polyester, the polyester fabric draws in the oil from your skin, which leaves yellow armpits. And the fabric can be irritating or uncomfortable, depending on what type it is. Let's look at the environmental impact. Pros, it can be recycled. Cons, because people treat clothing as a disposable good, loads of clothing end up on garbage heaps and polyester is not biodegradable. It pollutes the water because of the microfiber issue and I've spoken about washing clothing and micro pieces of that fiber actually getting stuck inside of the water. It is energy intensive and it's quite polluting because the original pellets coming from oil needs to be extracted from the earth which is quite an intense um, and polluting process. And toxic chemicals are required and used in the manufacturing of polyester. That is all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do give it a big thumbs up if you did. Consider subscribing to see more episodes of the fabric series coming out this week and next week. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye everyone.